few weeks back, we were feeling really happy and excited. We got some French doors put in here, but I didn't trim them out. They just had stuff set in front of them to keep them from blowing open. And we're getting some crazy storms. I got to get this place sealed up. You're going to watch us get them sealed in, but also putting on some antique style doorknobs and painting the front door in new glass. Well, that's a tall order for an afternoon, but we'll try. Okay. Got one chance at this. I'm gonna try not to blow through the front of this trim. Should have done this before, but I was in such a hurry to get this siding up when Ty was here that we didn't trim this out. Now it's better if you prefab every corner. black and you're painting it black so as long as you get it mushed in there and water can't get down in there I don't think it'll matter much on how neat the job is. So somewhere in between putting the siding on and the doors getting acclimated and painting them, this happened. What is that? So I'm just going to take the bell sander to this one side and we'll repaint that. It's, it's like not even a sixteenth of an inch that it's hitting. So bell sander it is. I could mess around with trying to adjust the hinges and things, but the sander is the easy solution and then that'll leave me room to adjust later if it's like a real humid winter and they won't close then. Jamie's holding the door closed while I draw a little line here so I know how far I need to sand in what places. Oh, it's just a little tight. I honestly think I want to leave it tight yeah, I'd rather and have it see tight. where we're at like in the spring because I mean how often are the kids going to be going in and out of here when there's like a foot of snow in the backyard? I mean... Are you going to make them use the kitchen door? They're probably going to go a significant amount of time. <laughs> like, but as, if they keep going in and out it'll just wear the... Yeah it'll wear. It'll wear. Alright now we got to drill into your oak floor. Oh. And put the fasteners in there. I want, can we put the doorknob on first? Yeah, I guess we could do a doorknob first. Because I feel like that's going to be a lot of work. Okay, so standard doorknob height is about 34 to 48 inches. So, right that is 38 inches. Oh, is that high? 34 to 48. Oh. So here's your range. This is 48. That is way too high. 34. I would say, like, say 38 is real good. That's about where I was going to put it. Well, that like, feels comfortable for you? 36. It's not going to hit Jack in the eye well, when it gets opened. Typically older doors have lower door knobs. Like if you look at the door knob on. That's probably door. about 34. Yeah. So I would say 30. How about 37? 37? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your specialty drill bit? I do have my specialty drill bit and I'm excited to show people about it. I've not used it yet so I'll probably mess it up. You might be less excited when you actually use it in the door. We bought replica door knobs. These are mortise locks, just like what you would have on an antique door. They are not for exterior use, <laughs> but I want them, so I don't care. Here's the key <laughs> that goes with these. <laughs> but we're gonna also add some bolts in the bottom that will give us some extra security. So some people might be talking about, you know, what's safe, blah, 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 but we've got full glass windows. Really what keeps us safe is the fact that we have 24 hour monitoring and surveillance. So we're going to go with that. All right, here's my fancy drill bit. It's called a mortise bit. And I think it's a little long for my drill setup because the shank probably needs to either be cut down or go in here farther. But we're going to make it work. And this just drills down in and then cuts as you go square. So when I got this, I found this on Amazon and I was like, oh wow, that's really great. I'll just use that with my drill. Turns out you're supposed to use it with a mortise machine that's got a special attachment that holds this part up flush 
and it's not intended to use with a hand drill at all. I'm gonna figure it out and make it work and uh, don't try this at home because that's not the right tool. So now I'm basically just using this like a drill bit, which is the right size, so it's gonna work out. Now that I've got the hole in there, I'm just gonna use this piece here and hit it with a hammer and we'll see if it works out or not. It's meant for a big press. Okay, so that's working all right. Might have to do a little chisel work too, but this is gonna get it done. So in a perfect world, I was supposed to have all this trimmed out today, but you know, we might get it done in the dark. Yeah, we probably should because snow's coming. So we're at least gonna get the door painted. We got the glass because we have to replace it with tempered glass because although it's beautiful and has all the wave and bubbles, it's not tempered. How old do you think this door is? Where did we get this one from? So I got this off of Facebook Marketplace and I'd say it's probably 80 to 100 years old. Yeah, well the, the glass is pretty wavy. Yeah, the glass is pretty wavy. The outside of the door is like, I'm wondering if we should put caulking in all the cracks <laughs> and then put on another coat of paint. Oh, I'm sure it's going to need more paint and well, I have to replace that window, so. Yeah. Well, I'm painting it now, so that way once you replace the window, I could just touch it up. Yeah, well, and who knows what the weather's going to be like. We're we're up against cold, and it's it's not coming back after this. Like, we're not going to have any warm days left. It's it's going to be mid-November. Well, you have to paint the porch, so it's got to be warm enough for you to do that. Well, we'll, we'll catch some sunshiny days here and there and make it work, but... It feels like it's so late. It's like 5 o'clock, 5.30. It's 6 almost. Almost 6. <laughs> if it was summertime, I'd still have four hours of daylight left. I know. But it... You know, we've, this is our second winter working on the farmhouse. Love it. All right, so I'm gonna call it good for right now. And then Zeb will replace the glass. I'll come in, I'll finish everything, caulk it some more, and then touch up, paint it. So I bought these little slides at the Home Depot. They're just gonna keep the doors shut, add a little bit more protection since apparently this knob is not doing much. <laughs> the knob is fine. It's gonna end up okay. Um, I had to do some fancy work on the insides of it to get it to be flipped right because I was fine with it upside down. You may have noticed that I installed it upside down. I was like, whatever, no big deal. Jamie came and she's like, no. I can't have that. We can't have an upside down door knob. Well, like, was it made to go on the other side? Because obviously it's not made to go on upside down, so why was it upside down? Maybe that's just the way it came and I needed to flip it. I don't know, it probably was made to go on the other side, but I like to open the door to be the one that opens on the right. I'm right-handed, I like to pull that knob and have it swing out away from me. It's the way it worked out. But on the outside, it's gonna be on the left side. I 
don't ever come back inside. Once I go out, I, I stay there. I'm sure you're noticing how dusty these doors are. Black looks horrible with dust. Once the house is finished, it will not be this dusty. We don't live by any open fields. It's just because it's a construction zone. It's because I'm making the dust from the inside out. <laughs> Generally, you don't paint the doors till you're ready to move in, but we do everything backwards. It's fun for videos. No, that's too big. I need to like waller that out or cut it out, but I don't have anything that small to cut that with. Can a screwdriver cut oak? We're about to find out. It could crack it. We should have put a strategic place knot there. I know, but it's just like a knockout knot. Yeah. We have some in like every other board. I know. Jamie, why are you using all this weird stuff? It's what we could find at Home Depot, and you would be surprised what is out of stock right now at supply houses. Also, the reason why we have this knob and this latch is because I tried to get things that looked period correct and not modern. So like an old fashioned door would have had something similar on it. Okay, one last touch. This is the downstairs master bathroom. That's what we'll call it. The vanity we did is in place. The plumbing just needs hooked up. It is there, we're waiting to test it. And then here's the shower. You wanna show them where those windows go? Yeah, so we framed it out to have windows that, there is a light in the shower. So to add more light, we're going to have these windows in here that'll let light from the rest of the bathroom through to the shower because I'm planning on doing a shower curtain across here instead of a glass door, just because I like it. Well, and we were looking for a window to go up here, almost like a big transom window. Yeah, I actually have one at home, I just need to measure and see if it will fit. And then over here, I'm gonna put a big window as a cabinet and there'll be shelves in here where we can put like extra supplies because we had to frame this out just like the bathroom in our half bath, if you guys have seen that because we had to make room for plumbing. So the toilet's gonna come out here and then there'll just be a cabinet back here. Here is the shower. Nice, nice and tall. It's like a rain head, shower head there. And it's got like, it's got an, uh, another shower head that comes down. Yeah, it's so. on a cord. This door is like 90% done. That door is partially done. We just need a strip to keep the wind from whistling through there. And that wood will get put on sometime next week, sometime. That doorknob took way longer than we thought. I really apologize to my husband for buying difficult things, but there's just a few things that just have to be period correct, and so doorknobs are important to me. Well, what will probably happen is these ones will get replaced with actual antiques as we find them. Absolutely. Make sure you guys are hitting up jrbhome.com for all your home decor and clothes and jamierayvintage.com for all your paint and DIY products. Both those websites help support our channel. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Wind is picking up. That storm is looking like the forecast is right. So we're hustling.